How's it going guys, Zedai here. So we finally, finally got an opportunity of seeing new gameplay for Elden Ring Shadow of the Earth Tree. Now there was a lot of information revealed for this game. And of course we already knew some of the details already, but nevertheless I still wanted to go over everything that we have learned from this beautiful, beautiful expansion that from software's perhaps most ambitious and the biggest expansion that they ever have released. And mind you, they made already incredible amount of expansions that were simply phenomenal. And now they're making a step up. Oh man, Elden Ring Shadow of the Earth Tree cannot come sooner. Now this takes place in an entirely new region known as, as of course known as the Land of the Shadow. Now you can access it by touching the mummified arm found in Mogwin's palace. Of course you'll have to defeat the boss first. And basically this is the area where Mankela traveled. So you will be able to pretty much follow the footsteps in sort of way of saying. Now there's going to be sprawling meadow filled with the gravestones and shadow spirits. There's going to be castle settlements. There's going to be expansive castles, a dark woodland in the distances that you can traverse and travel through. There's some dark looking trees that are charred and gnarled in stark contrast to the golden tree in the main game. So it's actually going to have a little bit of a visual appeal, but not to say that it looks phenomenal in terms of like, wow, it's a gorgeous beauty, but no. No, this is wow it looks kind of eerie and in the best of possible ways and I'm definitely looking forward to it. While the regions in the original game often glowed with the autumn-like warmth, now this region's dried grass and dying shrubs felt perhaps look very ancient and blighted. There's a dungeon and fortress called Bellarat Tower Settlement and Castle Ansys, and both were claustrophobic and folded over on themselves. Kind of an interesting way of rephrasing them, saying how they actually, well, go on top of each other, if that's the right way to, you know, say it. Filled, it's... A now it's also filled with winding paths and concealed shortcuts, opening to reveal routes back to the side of grace. So it's, you know, a normal fashion from software style, souls-like experiences is all, of course, is present here as well. Flooded cellars, lava-filled chasms and forests just feel alive with the eerie blue glow. Kind of makes it mystique and mysterious and yet beautiful. There's a mention that Land of Shadow feels like a natural extension to the lands between, so even though it looks so eerie and different, but yet it still is a natural extension. As obvious since you can expect it already, From Software's mastery of level design is all displayed here in this glorious form of an expansion. It will actually feature over 10 bosses and additional side bosses. Many of the new enemies that are lethal even from the distance due to their ability to sprint, leap and spin through the air that players need to master, well, they need to dodge more often in this case. There are actually going to be over 100 new weapons including a great sword sized katana which causes fire damage on contact and a battle shield with large metal spikes which turns a protective tool into the offensive tool. There's going to be 8 brand new weapon types, new martial arts category allowing players to go to combat barehanded, allowing heavy punches and slamming kicks. Now martial arts can be assigned as a skill as well. Perhaps I should mention that it seemed like quite a lot of people mentioned that martial arts skill doesn't seem to be powerful and maybe that's also good for, you know, a little bit of a challenge. But nevertheless, it's also possible that maybe there's some balancing issues or, like I said, there's still time left until the release of this game. So maybe they'll still need to do some of the adjust adjustments. Now, new system, a Shadow Realm Blessing to help level the playing field um, perhaps a little bit. Find and of course use this new consumable to apply a stackable buff that negates some of the incoming damage and increases the damage you cause to the opponents in the Land of the Shadow, well, Land of Shadow. Now, the new consumable is called a Scad to Tree Fragments and they are rare but can be found literally across the world. They're optional and only usable at Side of Grace and can help make the journey less harrowing. 
Remembrance are back and mention also that the enemies and bosses are going to be a lot stronger. Uh, n nevertheless to say that you still will be well, it will be necessary for you to be at least somewhat used to the Elden Ring. So my best advice will be, you know, start up playing the game, well, pretty much now. Get used to the muscle controls and memory, and memorize them more often. And when you get into this expansion, then yeah, you're gonna have a, a far better, better and perhaps even pleasant time. Nevertheless, I'm not gonna say and just sit here and lie. Oh man, you're gonna have an easy time because this is from software we're talking about. So I do expect a, quite a lot of challenges, if not even more often than not. <laughs> Nevertheless, guys, that's all of the information that I wanted to touch on and just have a conversation relating to the Elden Ring Shadow of the Earth Tree. I'm definitely looking forward to it. I cannot wait. It's going to be exciting. It's been already quite a long, long time since Elden Ring has released. I think it was like two years ago. My goodness, just to think about that. And now we're finally going to get this expansion. And yes, this is pretty much confirmed that this is the final expansion and From Software is going to be moving on to something else. Uh, still is a possibility to like perhaps they'll be moving on to Elden Ring 2 or maybe a new IP or perhaps maybe they'll continue on working on the Armor Core 7 presumably if that's going to be the case for, for from software going with that direction because Armor Core 6 was success for them and they don't want to abandon that IP perhaps maybe they need extra few years we do not know of course but uh, I definitely definitely support from software's decision whichever route they rather go with go with the sequel go with a new ip as long as it's something familiar and yet also incredible and actually is an incredible experience i'm down for anything from from software related at that thank you so much for watching like and subscribe do let me know as well in the comments are you going to be picking up this expansion perhaps you want to wait a little bit longer for it to receive some hot fixes maybe you just see some reliable reviews and even though you know how uh, from software is like especially so many people trust them the studio i mean is there really a point for you to wait for reviews to see if this game will turn out to be good because in my personal opinion and maybe that's just me being a little bit blinded by being a little bit of a fanboy i do believe that this expansion is gonna be phenomenal nevertheless that's just my thoughts do let me know like i mentioned down in the comments again like and subscribe see you guys all and uh yeah have a wonderful day.